Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics, channel with really interesting, relaxing and quick question. And in this video we are going to solve this question, we have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 and times 5 plus 5 in parentheses. So as you can see it's not like a hard question on the first side because we have only addition, division, right here we have multiplication, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about this, about this order of operations, so everyone know about it. But what is the correct answer? Right here we have mm, 4 options. So so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting to check your answers in the end of the video. Doesn't matter if you study at school, you graduated, or doesn't matter whatever your age you have. Like right here, let's let's check, let's relax really real quick. So right here our question, right here our our options. So I want to start I want to start all this. Right here we have five plus five divided by five and times 5 plus 5 in parentheses. Okay, so here's our question. And what is the th main thought about this question? So one part of students think, okay, I learned the stuff in the third grade, I don't know, I know about the addition, division, multiplication, so I know I can easily handle this question, but one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, let's start from this division, let's start from the addition, then let's divide, uh, then let's multiply, and then maybe let's find this answer in parentheses. So this is the first order of operation. Another part of students think, okay, right here, let's try to, for example, divide at first, then multiply, then add, then parentheses. Another part of students think, okay, let's try to solve this problem in parentheses, then, for example, multiplication, addition, division. So, as you can see, a lot of this combination of operation, but in mass, we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because we need to know 100% what we need to start with. Maybe a division, maybe addition, maybe multiplication. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. As I told right Right here, right here, we have for three solutions. We can we can get uh, more combinations of this operation. But in mass, we need to know what is one and only one correct order. Because obviously, whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Okay? And for this question, you need to look at this. For example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Okay? And let's solve this question according to PMDMC, but I want to say that I respect every order of operation. For example, BODMAS, I respect it, but I choose PMDMC because mm, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC, and I choose this order of operation. But I respect every order of operation. This is up to you, whatever order of operation you select. For example, BODMAS, this is up to you, and I respect it, okay? But I will solve it according to PMDMC. Okay, let's try to rewrite this question right here real quick. So we have 5, we have plus 5 divided by 5 and 5 plus 5 in parentheses. Okay? Pin BMC works from the top to the bottom and we will check with this combination. Maybe we'll have the same combination as right here. Let's look at it. The first step, parentheses. Okay? Okay, this is really great because right here we cannot start from addition, division, multiplication. We need to start from parentheses. And if you look closely to our question, we don't have parentheses on the left hand side, in the middle, but we have it on the right hand side. So this is our first step to start from these parentheses. This is like very important important step for us to start from parentheses. So let's look at it. So we rewrite our question. So we have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 and times 5 plus 5 equal to equal to 10. So right now we have something like that. We have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 times 5, which is really good. And I would say doesn't matter what order of operation you select, we will have the same first step. So doesn't matter, bottom is PMDMC, you need to start from these brackets, you need to start from these parentheses. Okay, next step. Exponents. What about exponents? I don't see any exponents, we don't have any cubes, squares right here, so which is, which is really good for us, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any exponents, which is really good, because for example, imagine you have 5 cubes, you need to raise these, it is like complicated for us, so we need to skip this part. Okay, let's go to the next step. Multiplication and division part. This is main thing right here, because a lot of students say, okay, multiplication, now we need to multiply this 5 times 10. In the same way, this is correct, but according to PMDMC, this is incorrect, because we need to look at it in perspective of a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. Right here we have division sign, on the, on the beginning we have addition, we don't need it right now, and we have multiplication sign. So our next step after parentheses is to solve this expression. And it's really like an uh, expression that has a lot of discussion about it, because right here we have division multiplication, another part of students say, okay, we need to multiply it first, then divide, we need to divide it first, then multiply, and this is like a lot of mm, students, a lot of teachers in the world uh, discuss about this order of operation, but uh, as I told before, I solved it according to PMDMC, 
And according to PMDMC, if you have multiplication and division sign, okay, in the same way, you need to look at it, what is the first sign from left to right? This is the main thing, doesn't matter, multiplication, division, let's look at it in our case. So we have division sign is the first sign from left to right, because the second one is multiplication, the first one division, so we need to divide at first. So 5 divided by 5, this is our second step. 5 divided by 5 equal to 1. So we have like 5 plus 1 times 10 plus 1 times 10. And right here we need to multiply because we have multiplication and division group. We need to complete this group and then we can easily add and subtract. As I told before, right here we have addition and we have subtraction. Okay? We don't have any subtraction. Yeah, we have addition. But Multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction, so addition is our last step. Multiplication is before addition, so 1 times 10 equal to 10, so we have 5 plus 10 equal to equal to 15, which is option. Option C is a correct answer. According to BMDMC, this is my notes about it, this is according to BMDMC is a correct answer. For example, you choose board maths, maybe you will have a different answer, and I respect it, it's not like 100% correct answer, but if you plug it into like scientific or graphing calculator, we will have the same 15. So you can easily check it, if you don't trust me, you can easily check this answer, which is 15, option, option C is a correct answer. So we hope you understand this explanation. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Write your thoughts about it. It's really interesting to read about it. And see you in the next videos.